I chose Wallaceburg as my hometown. We chose Chatham I chose as our which town as my home. I chose Chatham Kent slash Wallaceburg. We chose Chatham Kent as our home. I chose Wallaceburg as my home. I chose Chatham as my home. I chose University of Wellesburg. I chose Chatham. I chose Chatham. I chose Tilbury as my home. I chose Chatham as as my. I chose Chatham Kent as my home. Welcome, Welcome home, home to Chatham, Chatham Camp. Welcome home to Chatham Camp. Welcome home to Chatham Camp. We own Shade and East Bistro and Cafe on Nelson Street in beautiful downtown Wallaceburg. Wife and I fell in love with it. the people, the downtown surrounded by water, real estate prices were great. Uh, the municipality itself, the task force and economic development were very supportive through CIP programs, grants, interest-free loans. It's a perfect opportunity and you couldn't ask more from a community to get started in a small business. We love Chatham Kent because it's a family-oriented city and especially in the city of Chatham we can easily raise our kids here the public schools are amazing. The hospital is only a couple of blocks away from us. We don't have those waiting times that you see in larger cities. And there are lots of other opportunities for us. Parks available very close to us. So we chose here because of lots of opportunities that are available to us and our family and to our kids. I like that it's, uh, Chatham Kent has renewable energy and they're using it to their full potential and uh, I know that there's plenty more opportunities on the way. Renewable energy has um, grown quite a bit. It's, uh, it's a younger generation as well as new technology so it's uh, a very good opportunity to get into this young at age and uh, you know these turbines are going to be around for um, a long time to come and I feel it's going to be a great opportunity for future employment. It's a nice area for farming, it's relatively flat and the um, heat units, the, the climate is uh, good for growing a high variety of crops. Uh, I think there's not too many areas in the world where you're going to find field tomatoes beside a sugar maple bush. And uh, we ourselves grow uh, about uh, half a dozen different crops, uh, grains and uh, hay for the cows. And we um, really have enjoyed the climate here uh, over the years uh, and especially the people, the relationships in the neighborhood here, we really enjoy that. This is what's turned out to be uh, the greatest uh, part of living here for us, uh, besides the nice location near Lake Erie and uh, in the south of Canada here, it's the, it's the people that uh, have made it a great place and uh, enhanced our quality of life, definitely. I've had a passion to try and learn more in terms of helping other people how to farm and I want to try and get back into that and help people get higher yields when it comes to agriculture, so that's what I want to try and achieve. Thompson's head office is in uh, Blenheim, Blenheim, Ontario, and uh, but we have branches in um, uh, almost uh, whole of our in Ontario and uh, in, in states as well. And um, uh, this is uh, a very central location being a farmland and uh, uh, for us because we have uh, uh, like a lot of uh, 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 ports and to ship our products out uh, to our customers. The Canadian healthcare system uh, has always fascinated me while my year, during my years in the U.S. Uh, the fact that there is universal health coverage with uh, at least with the province um, uh, is a is a great asset. It's a refreshing change to see everybody not having to worry about it with a, a standard provincial coverage. As a family doctor, the options and the flexibility in how much you want to work and what kind of work you want to do are unlimited here. 
the fact that I can do office as well as inpatient uh, and low to mid to high acuity emerge as much as I want uh, is pretty much mind boggling and I enjoy that. Chatham offered me uh, the kind of a practice that I wanted for my future. We fell in love with the community. I came with my husband and at that time my son was nine months old. Um, we stayed here for two months. The hospital provided us the family housing, which was a bonus, so we enjoyed it. It was summer. So the work environment was amazing. The people I work were so warm, so laid back. Chatham does have a good amount of Pakistani families and a mosque, which was one of our deciding factors. I work in a uh, welding factory uh, in Tilbury. I've uh, moved here from uh, La Chute, Quebec with my family about 12 years ago. Chatham, Kent, lot, lots of manufacture. Um, what I love about Chatham, Kent is uh, the climate, actually. We had barbecue on Christmas once, so that was pretty fun. We have lots of, uh, I've met lots of people around here. People are very nice and friendly. Uh, it's a small community. We. Uh, we, you know, you, you know your neighbor, neighbor loves you and everything goes good. We did all research on all the cities and all the smaller areas in southwestern Ontario. We didn't have any interest in going north um, because of the climate, because of all the uh, amenities that Chatham-Kent offers. The boating, the birding, the Downtown Chatham, Kent is a really charming place uh, and I think the, the, the final pin on this uh, was the Capitol Theatre when we heard that it was uh, going to be opening soon, that was, that was an important part. Real estate here in, in uh, Chatham is, is really um, a, an excellent investment. We found that um, you can buy a very good family home in a very nice um, family oriented neighborhood, good schools. Um, similar houses, um, nicely kept, all, all this for around 150000 That compared to, compared to the GTA uh, and any of the other sort of major suburbs of the GTA uh, is a huge difference. Um, the value of uh, coming to St. Clair Thames campus is it's a wonderful learning environment. Uh, there's a smaller uh, ratio teacher to student. We have uh, ACE programs which allow uh, skills upgrading for uh, folks who've been out of the uh, academic world for a bit to uh, re-enter with reasonable success. Uh, we have full daytime programs. We have continuing ed. We have bridging programs here um, and, and all of those facilitate uh, uh, fabulous uh, learning outcomes for our students. So we're excited about uh, um, all the different ways that a uh, student can learn here at Thames campus. And, uh, and uh, we've had very good student success, both in terms of employment and employer satisfaction. Uh, when I came here, I actually had taken an agricultural course before, but adding to what I've learned from Reachdown, it's been awesome, so I wouldn't exchange it for anything else. Last year, uh, when we moved at the same time, we also had uh, an Islamic school uh, opened up in Chatham, okay? And uh, so I, I knew, um, like, when we moved from Coburg to Toronto, one of the main reasons uh, of that move was uh, uh, to put our kids in Islamic school in Toronto, okay? But now, like, we have that opportunity here in, in Chatham. So this is uh, uh, a very big plus point as a Muslim here in Chatham. Five years after I got to Canada, living in Kitchener, Waterloo, I moved to Chatham, Kent, and uh, lived there and continue to enjoy my stay here and uh, the people I've interacted with uh, based on so many factors. Uh, some of them include the level of diversity that we have that is being uh, showcased uh, within this community uh, on a regular basis. It also includes uh, the, the people that, that live here, how warm they are, how friendly they are, and maybe that is what you get in living in a small community. 
uh, uh, like Chanam Kent. You also think about uh, the various events, uh, and one of these that comes to my mind is the multicultural brunch, which we've showcased from the Cultural Coalition of Chatham Kent uh, uh, two years running now. And it's brought people from different cultures, and even people that are of Canadian born are uh, together to sort of uh, level set and understand the level of diversity that we have. Wherever you have different kind of food, you find that the people sort of gravitate there to, to sort of uh, be able to test and uh, appreciate food that comes from a, a different culture. This area, including our, our county, I guess, Chang Kent, uh, has a, a very vibrant art community. Uh, the, the, there are a few venues, and, and it's good to see. What I first didn't realize is that there is a lot of art in this area. It's just that um, a lot of uh, the artists kind of tend to be kind of alone just because it's a small place. However, though, there is a lot of producing artists in this town. Most local artists here uh, keep from themselves just because, like I said, it's a small area, right? But, uh, but once you get to know them, I have a few of my friends that are producing artists and they're just always happy to open the door and do something with you and cooperate. So it's, it's alive and that's a good thing. There's all sorts of golf courses that people want to play golf. Uh, there's fabulous places to walk. The, uh, we're on the migratory path of the birds, so that um, there's always something going on, and, and uh, it's a fabulous. There's lots to do. People in here are very friendly and nice. Although we have a we don't have a large population, we do have a lot of cultural groups here. For instance, uh, Chinese association was built in 2007 and we have more than 15 families in here and every year we have uh, several events uh, to celebrate uh, Chinese New Year and other uh, festivals. Um, we are like a big family to um, uh, live together and work together and help each other and there are several um, cultural groups in here. Uh, we have a really good diversity in the community and the municipality and uh, uh, residents in, in Chan and Kin are really helping and uh, welcome the newcomers in this community. Welcome home to Chatham Ken. 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 Welcome home to Chatham Ken and uh, or uh, bienvenue à Chatham Kent. Merci beaucoup.